Hey y'all, welcome to CC's Texas Garden. I've been at work all day y'all. So I am just now coming out to my garden. It is like five in the afternoon or evening. I'm just coming out here, but I just wanted to tell y'all, guys, today marks the one year anniversary that I started my YouTube channel, my garden channel. And I just want to say this has been an amazing year. I have got to meet so many different garden friends, made some besties. Um, yeah, all kind of connections that I have had by starting this channel up. So if you ever thought about, you know, um, starting the channel, it's a good time to do it. Because today, a year ago, I started my channel. So why did I start it? Guys, I was dealing with seasonal depression around January and February time every year. And I was like, you know what? I am going to start me a garden. I love, I, I was already doing gardening, but I hadn't started a channel with it and um and i was like you know what i'm gonna start a gardening channel and that's what i did so i'm just gonna take y'all around kind of let you see what's going on in my garden and uh then we're gonna just call it a night because uh i've been at work <laughs> all day long you know i'm exhausted but i wanted to let you know that today marks one year starting my garden channel so let me turn y'all around all right so the past couple days we've been below freeze i did not cover stuff back up i didn't i was just like it better survive or i'm, I'm ready to move on to spring so um my onions and garlic is in this bed my broccoli is over here. I probably need to go ahead and harvest my little side shoots of broccoli. Um, they're doing fairly okay. Um, look at the look at the base of this thing. This I'm gonna have to maybe a broccoli stock or soup or something with the base of this. This is like a tree, but uh, the leaves kind of get got a little hit on them. Some of the leaves are just fine. But just a couple of them that may have got a little bit too much frost on them. My Russian kale is looking amazing. This big old purple thing is just amazing. So, over here, you can see the frost. <laughs> the frost hit my little, after I uncovered, it was fine before. But, um, yeah, I haven't covered it for the past two nights. So, the frost did kind of get to it. And, um, but it's okay. Some of the carrots kind of laying over, but look at, look at that. I mean, some of these carrots, I think I can harvest up. They're nice. Should I go and pull them just to see where we're at on carrots or should I leave them in there? I mean, I have more, I have more. <laughs> I'm so tempted y'all. I'm going to go ahead and do it. At least this one, right? I can leave. Well, they both, they're together. I'm, we're going to do it, okay? I hope it's some big carrots. I can't remember if I planted the small um, variety or a big one. But let's go ahead and pull that up. Oh, <laughs> look at that, y'all. That is a carrot. That's a nice size carrot. Now I want to pull up that other one. <laughs> just to see whoa <laughs> oh my gosh look at those beautiful carrots that I just threw seeds in here y'all I didn't baby I didn't pamper them I just threw the seeds in there I was like I made sure the soil was damp and we got carrots yay <laughs> So that makes me excited. That means these other ones in here are that same size. Um, yeah. 
that's gorgeous okay that just that just made my little anniversary better I have carrots in these they those freeze kind of hit them after I uncover them mmm <laughs> here put my beautiful carrots right there tell you what <laughs> I used to not be good at doing carrots y'all I babied them I pampered them I did all that and they just would not grow and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna throw the seeds in there and that's what I did my onions are looking pretty good I have some carrots along up inside there as well collard greens I haven't harvested any yet I'm waiting for them to get a little bigger but they're looking nice and this stuff is looking pretty good it's kind of look a little like it look how huge y'all look at how big this is this I'm thinking it's a cabbage but it really haven't formed a head it's closing it's taking its time and I just love all these big old leaves this is pretty I love it I love it um we have our cauliflowers this one is a nice head cauliflower look at that I didn't even cover it and it looks really really good even though I don't like it I don't even eat it <laughs> it looks good though I'm going to try it though y'all I'm going to try it and I did try my rutabaga I think I'm gonna do a video a short that's showing you me eating my rutabaga cuz it's actually delicious so <laughs> yeah so this is my this is kind of looking like it's getting cold my cabbage there's my broccoli I got a broccoli right there I still don't know what that thing is <laughs> there's a the broccoli there's my mustards and these are all garlic back there as you can see I put in some flowers and little areas you know just to give it a little pop of color because that also can help with um, that seasonalness that comes along look at those beautiful babies there just to see some you know color in the garden instead of just green and brown thing I just want to tell y'all that it's my anniversary <laughs> of one year starting this garden channel and I'm so excited I am gonna go in and uh, wash my beautiful carrots off this just you know top my day I had a long rough day at work and coming home and actually pulling out some successful carrots just man so thank y'all thank you for all the subscribers that have subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed please do i would love for you to be part of this garden journey with me and i will see y'all on the next video bye